What's going on, guys? It's you here, bringing you another review on Baruto. Yes, I'm late on it, but I do apologize. I have been busy these last couple of days. But this episode was a filler, but it wasn't a bad one. Honestly, it's giving us characters from Naruto Part 1 uh, that we don't ever talk about. That being, in this case, Hiyashi, I believe I'm pronouncing it, Hi Hiyashi Hyuga. Uh, Hinata Hinabi's father um, I remember back in part one you know that whole explanation with the Hugas and I was like at the time I wasn't really understanding it I never went back to rewatch it and I do remember seeing clips on YouTube years ago about this whole incident but I never really paid attention. So when I'm watching this, I actually had to re see some scenes, and I'm thinking, man, the Hugo family has been nothing but tragedy, and it made me think of Star Wars. <laughs> it really did, and I had mentioned that before in my review of Star Wars, and and like that, I feel like this family has a lot of tragedy. You know, we have the brother dying, we have Neji dying, and of course, that leads to change, and. It was very frustrating and very sad for Hiyashi. I mean, to be in this position, uh, he he just was a pretty messed up character. Let's put it like that, you know. Him having to raise uh, Hinata the way that he did and then Hanabi, it was just a lot, you know. And so in this episode, it's just his birthday. And Boruto actually is having a really hard time to figure out what to give him uh he's been very lovey towards him and himawari i mean you know that's grandparents you know that's kind of how they are and so he's having a tough time he tries to get help from sarada and mitsuki he doesn't get anything out of it and so he gets mitsuki to go along with him to see if maybe they can infiltrate the house and see if they can find something he hinabi watches and she's like i'm kind of in at a loss too i don't really know what to get him and and so we have this incident while they're there where this guy wants to challenge uh, you know, Hiyashi for being the strongest. He came from the hidden cloud. He is put, he's turned away, but he believes it's his victory. Boruto later actually feels offended by this and actually wants to go up against him. For a little bit, Boruto is actually giving him a run for his money. Not really a surprise though, where we see Hiyashi actually intervening in the situation and stopping the fight. Uh, and this dude no longer wanting to continue on. And so he actually tells Bara to look, fear and strength uh, should not be, you know, something that be used all the time. And so he just kind of walks away and he's just kind of sad because he didn't want to give Bara to a lesson. It's something that Baruto will learn later on. But of course, Baruto, being the way that he is, doesn't really want to uh, stay there. He wants to know answers. And so he ends up seeing Mirai, who then goes to her mom, and they she explains the whole situation. And this allows Baruto to kind of get a better understanding of his grandpa and where he came from. You know, and you think that he would honestly, you know, be more considerate considering how he's an older person it sucks that also his memory has been wiped so he doesn't remember neji all that much so that's just kind of lame and so well he does remember excuse me he does remember neji it's just that it, it just seemed to be something he forget and so he honestly just comes up with the best idea he could and so at the time of the party we see that Himawari and Hinata give him a scarf which honestly made me think of the last movie and I was just like oh you know scarves are kind of like Hinata's thing and so uh, it was really cool and they end up taking a picture together which was really sweet I think it was a really nice memento to have you know considering the last time they had a picture it was pretty bad you know it was really a different time and so it was really cool. And then we see that he, uh, Hiyashi and Naruto have a conversation together where they talk about, you know, the tragedies of Neji and, and Hisashi, his brother, but how Naruto brought change. So I did like that, even though this episode was about his birthday, that even he actually was able to have a moment like this, of kind of like a serious moment with Naruto, Naruto being actually there, which was a good, uh, a good moment in my opinion. 
But overall, it was a pretty cool episode. It was funny. Uh, Hiyashi ends up going back to being the lovable grandpa, and the episode ends. But I'm looking forward to the next week's episode because we're going to be having a character we haven't seen in the longest time. So we'll see how that goes. But guys, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you guys have, leave a like, comment down below, and I hope you stay safe. Mm-hmm.